briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 2004, the Supreme Court of the United States heard the case of Crawford v. Washington, which centered on a defendant's right to confront and cross-examine their accusers. The case involved Michael Crawford, who was convicted of stabbing a man alleged to have attempted to rape his wife, Sylvia. During the trial, a tape-recorded statement from Sylvia was played, but Crawford was not given the opportunity to cross-examine her, raising questions about the adherence to the Sixth Amendment's right to confront witnesses. Crawford argued that the state's use of Sylvia's statement without the opportunity for cross-examination violated his Sixth Amendment rights. At the time, the court relied on the Roberts test, which allowed the admission of testimonial statements from absent witnesses without cross-examination under certain circumstances. Crawford's legal team argued that the Roberts test deviated from the original meaning of the Confrontation Clause in the Sixth Amendment. They claimed that the Constitution requires unavailability and prior cross-examination for such evidence, which was not met in this case. Ultimately, the Supreme Court reversed the judgment of the Washington Supreme Court and held that testimonial statements could only be admitted if the defendant had a prior opportunity for cross-examination and the declarant was unavailable. The court's decision emphasized the importance of following the Constitution's prescribed procedures for determining the reliability of testimony and the need to guard against excessive judicial discretion in criminal trials. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSD.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.